to the fourth session of STEM Sprints. Today, we're going to be using the 2017 Hess dump truck again, but this time we're focused on the loader. And what we're going to demonstrate today is the importance of something called center of mass. When you think about center of mass, you think about the balance point. So we're going to do some demonstrations, both using these guys and using the loader to demonstrate that right here. The first thing we're going to do today is to demonstrate the center of mass or balance point for our loader. And the balance point is basically the point where if you held your fingers out, you could get it to balance without tipping. And what we're going to demonstrate today is that depending on what position this arm is in and how much weight is in that arm, your balance position will change. If I hold it in the same spot, it will fall. If I hold it in a different spot, closer towards the, towards the middle, it will balance better now. It has to offset that weight. So I've spread out my fingers in order to balance it better. So we're going to demonstrate that today. But before we demonstrate on here, we're going to demonstrate on these guys. So let's go out there and we're going to show how you can find your own center of balance. To demonstrate your center of mass, which is your balance, you're going to stand on one foot. Put your arms out to the side to make sure you're very balanced. You got it? Now, to demonstrate, we're going to put weight in one of your hands. What happens? Pulls you over, huh? Let's try you. Can you do that as well? Grab these. Hold on. Don't fall. <coughs> Grab more. Ah, oh, you fell too. With both feet out, can you hold all these? Hold it. Can you hold them all without dropping them? Without falling? You know why? Because you shifted your center of mass to your right side, the viewer's left, when you put your second weight down. So adding weight to one side has to be offset by adding some center of mass, or shifting your center of mass away from the weight. Now we're going to see what happens when you shift the center of weight using the loader on an incline. Carola is going to demonstrate to you just how the loader works on an incline that we created with a board and it's just propped up actually using the Hess toy truck boxes. So go ahead and turn the loader on and let's see what happens. It goes pretty well, right? So right. Let's do a much steeper climb. Will it still climb up? Well, Put it on. Let's see. It still climbs, right? A little slower, but it goes up. Now. Let's take it to the bottom, open up the big arm, and let's see whether it can still climb at this point. Pull it out and open it up. Will it still climb? Works pretty well, right? Now, take it down, lift up the whole arm joint, and what happens when he goes? Uh-oh, what's the matter? It, the balance falls backwards, and it just kind of Okay, collapses. let's see if you can find the perfect balance point with, the, with it actually extended. It will, right now? Yeah. All right, now, what we got is some garden rocks. So how about we add some garden rocks onto the loader and see whether or not that's enough weight to help it. Will it help or will it hurt, do you think? Hurt. Think it'll hurt? Okay, let's see. Put some more in. Is it helping or is it hurting? It looks like it's actually helping. Why do you think it's helping? It's oh, keeping it's it down. The balance more. Right, exactly. What happens if it goes backwards up the hill? Uh oh. Oh no! Okay, but can you find, without the weight, can you find a balance point where it will go without tipping? Now, can you go backwards from here? Works pretty well, right? All right. Okay, so now we're wrapping up here. Remember, this is from our 2017 STEM curriculum called Simple and Compound Machines. Uh, it was an activity focused on balance, center of mass, and quickly just explain what were the key things you learned. That you have to find your center balance. Without the center balance, you will fall over. You find it fall over. And what happens when you put weight on one side? It will. So if there's weight on this side, like as our experiment went, you will start to kind of tip this side. But if it's on this side, you'll tip this side, but if it's on both, you'll kind of stay still balanced. Right, so the key, if you think about it, is as you add weight to one side, the center of balance is actually moving. It has to move to offset that weight. Think about a seesaw, right? If something with more weight gets on, 
you would have to go even further out yeah, to, to balance it, which is kind of cool. Yeah. What's the force that's dragging everything over when it tips? That's gravity. That's gravity, right? So we talked yeah. a little bit about gravity, a little bit about friction, and a lot about center of center mass, right? Or balance. Or balance. Awesome. See you next time. Thanks.